In this video, we're gonna have a shavage and do an unboxing, stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another shavage and unboxing. I'm your host CDB, thanks so much for joining me today. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm really, really thankful for the weather. And as of right now, no lawnmower. So you can just hear the birds. It's really, really beautiful. Today, we're gonna change our unboxing instrument. Normally, we bring out our cheap bird spider code, but today we bring out the higher end version of the Metal Arc 2. This is actually the uh, Spyderco Delica series. Uh, is this Delica 3? I can't remember. But anyway, I've had this knife for a long time. Looks a lot like the uh, bird that I use a lot. But this one is a little higher end. It's got a little better steel on it, VG10. I love this knife. I've had it for years, more than 10, and it has served me well. Great, great knife. All right. The shavage for today is the Hazy Little Thing IPA, and I bought a six pack of these, and I still have them, so I don't drink much, as you can tell. And let's open her up and have a little taste. Not bad, here's to you. Nice citrus on that, I like that. Actually, that's not a bad IPA. All right, let's get to the unboxing. And we're gonna start with, I bought this from uh, Colin Clayfin. And so we're gonna open this up and see what we have with our Delica 3, I believe it is. Delica 2, Delica 3, I can't remember, but. Had it for a long time, I love it. Great, great knife, and we'll hope to use this knife successfully today with no errors in unboxing. So, one of the things I did not buy that Colin threw in, because he knows I like sterling, is a sterling badger brush, and that thing is set pretty low, so this one might be <laughs> difficult uh, for me. I don't know, it seems to be splaying okay, so thank you, Colin, for uh, throwing this one in. I love sterling, I don't have a sterling badger, and now I do. Thank you, Colin. We'll see how it goes. It seems a little short for my taste, so if we don't like it, we'll give it away. No big deal. By the way, Sterling shirt today, and Sterling week is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. So the item I bought from Colin was an Occam's razor, and I believe this one is called Enoch, I want to say. Anyway, let's, let's show you what it looks like. There it is, and he left some blades in there. Thank you, Colin. And here is the razor, which is an Artist Club style uh, razor. It uses these sort of blades if you're not familiar. The Feather Professional blades like so. And uh, Colin sold this for a good price on the Wet Shaving Enablers group, which I created years ago on Facebook. So if you're looking for buy, sell, and trade, it's a group that has a lot of members. And we look forward to using the Enoch here, which is a single edge razor by uh, Occam. Uh, and I believe those can be found at Classic Shaving, I want to say. And package well so we'll see how this one shaves thank you cola for allowing me to buy this at a decent price let's set that aside and get on with the unboxing the next one i'm very very excited about sorry for the cars in the background i mean we can't stop traffic can we just for the unboxing we're not quite that selfish <laughs> oh man the old spider co man this blade has just held up so well still takes a great edge i just love it it's fantastic all right and in this box, we have something mighty special. So let's pull out the paper. And we have a splash in there, but let's show you the soap. And we've been waiting a while for this one. This is Zingari Man Barrel, Barrel, excuse me, tongue twisted already, Barrel Proof. And boy, I'm going to take a drink before I smell this one. Been waiting for this one. This one is to honor our boys Mel and Nate from BBS Live. And let's see how it smells. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, very, very nice. I'm definitely getting more scent out of this one. I would definitely call this one right out of the tub at the medium range. Is it super stout? No. Oh, very, very nice. And this is bourbon, sandalwood, and oak wood. And I can get all those elements in this soap, so I'm really, really happy for Nate and Mel on this one. I was really disappointed with the first version of this because I got almost no scent. I think I was just smelling the base, but this one, oh, that smells nice. There's a look at the pour. Looks, looks good. Smells nice. This one has some scent in it, so I'm very happy with that. We look forward to using it. And just because it's Nate and Mel, I usually don't buy the non-alcohol splash. It's just my thing. Um, we did buy the splash this time. Um, I don't have any Zingari Man splashes, so we bought the splash this time, and let's shake it up and give it a smell. That's nice. 
the even more of that wood and uh, sandalwood and bourbon in the splash, I think, which is pretty normal. That that looks like a nice set. The ro the uh, label, by the way, was made by Raza from Shaving with Raza, and he's a great guy, and he's making great labels. He's killing it. Okay, we'll use that soon. But, of course, not tomorrow because it's throwing week, but we will work that in. The next item we have is from AP Shave Co. out of Canada, and I just love their handcrafted series uh, brushes and we shall show you what we got this time and this one just for me the color on this one is just kind of butterscotch I think it's called amber there is the coin if you're interested um, it's so blingy silver sometimes it's hard to see which end is up on the coin but to me that's just sort of a butterscotch color and I don't think I have any uh, brushes of that color but I really love these cashmere fan knots they are so soft and they splay so great I just I love these handcrafted brushes this one to my door is like 50 some dollars for a handcrafted you just can't beat the AP Shape Co synthetic knots and their handcrafted series I really like these a lot I wish they had more colors because um, I own all the ones I like now there's none for me to buy but I'll be adding this one to the collection really really love it AP Shape Co great um, great knots great brushes for great price in my opinion and last we have this one should be interesting i do not know what to expect from this one and man that thing that the old delica just cuts through things it takes a great edge all right this one i was inspired by geo fat boy and um jeffrey smith and i'll link their channels below geo fat boy legendary and jeffrey smith great youtube channel as well boy the birds are chatty today i'm digging that this is the Mag T razor. And this one, if you look at the map marketing on this website, it's it's very, very interesting. And there's how it's boxed up. Magnetic safety razor. And this one is an interesting looking razor. It's got some Astro SP blades in there. Um, the concept behind this one is the cap is magnetic. And they also make some claims about the blades lasting more or going longer because of the magnets and as you can see it is a very unusual looking razor it's very heavy probably the heaviest razor safety razor i've ever held and man that cap it is a pull to get that off of there so there's no screws of any kind there's just this base and that snap and it is a i think i heard jeffrey say this is about a four pound pull and they say you don't need a stand for this because it sets you know on the head like that if my palm were perfectly flat it would set there i don't know if i'd want to because i would think that would get scuffed up i just took a flyer on this one i have no idea how it will shave i just thought it was interesting and i thought people might want to see it i've seen a few videos on it now and i thought well let's get it open comb as you can see but man that is definitely a uh, stout pull as you can see that snaps into place pretty easily and readily so I don't think that would come loose, nah, during the shave. And it's a very interesting design. I know a lot of people are going to say that's an ugly razor, but I thought, let's get it. Let's try it. Let's see how it shaves. Every now and then we take a flower and buy something just for the channel. And this is one of those times. Um, ordinarily, I wouldn't buy this, but I thought, let's take a flyer. Let's try it. Jeffrey liked it. He said it was a good shaver. I think Geo had a decent shave with it. And I said, why not? Let's give it a go. And so I will link this. Also, I'll mention Geo sells this on uh, Shave Nation. I'll link it there, or you can get it directly from uh, Mag T. The marketing claims on this, again, are pretty interesting. So we'll <laughs> we'll see how it actually shaves. Maybe I'll use this one uh, for Monday shave or something like that. Comes well packaged. Interesting razor. We look forward to using it. I want to thank everybody for watching these unboxings it really means a lot that you enjoy these along with me i'm certainly enjoying doing them so i want to thank you it really means a lot here's to you and i hope you all have a great saturday and a great weekend god bless each and every one of you until next time it's your shave do it your way and as always god bless